Hi, this is Marie from Legacy Publishing. Welcome to the latest edition of our video newsletter. In today's video, we are going to focus on insurance stocks, which are currently in a price uptrend. Chuck, can you tell us about your current strategy for investing in the insurance industry? Marie, the insurance stocks have declined sharply during the recent bear market. For example, Prudential Life declined 90% during the recent bear market, and MetLife declined 84%. Many of the insurance stocks were priced for bankruptcy. The insurance sector has since recovered some of its losses since March, but I think many of the life insurance and property and casualty insurers like Prudential and MetLife still represent good value and have further upside potential. We can see from this price chart that the insurance ETF is currently on a MACD buy signal and the on balance volume line is trending up, confirming the price uptrend. An upsloping OBV line indicates that the volume is heavier on up days and lighter on down days and buying pressure is exceeding selling pressure. This indicates that the price uptrend can be sustained. The insurance ETF has heavy weightings in stocks such as Prudential, Travelers, MetLife, Aflac, and Genworth. Let's take a look at the price chart for some of the individual stocks included in the insurance ETF such as Aflac and MetLife, which have similar price patterns. Here is the price chart for MetLife, which we can see is on an MACD buy signal and has an upsloping OBV line confirming the price uptrend. And Aflac has a similar MACD and OBV line price chart. Chuck, can you tell us the best way to participate in the rally in the insurance stocks? Marie, due to the high market volatility, I am currently buying insurance stocks and selling monthly call options against my stock to generate monthly income. This brokerage confirmation shows that I purchased 500 shares of MetLife at 3704 and sold five of the MetLife September 38 strike call options for 1.65 points. This option expires in about five weeks. This created a buy right trade. At September option expiration, I will roll over the September option into an October option. Now, as long as MetLife remains in a price uptrend, the goal of this strategy is to roll over the short call each month and generate monthly cash income. This income analysis shows that the return potential for this MetLife buy right trade is 7.4% if MetLife stock closes at or above 38 at September option expiration. The income analysis also estimates the return potential of selling a monthly call option against MetLife stock each month over the next year. The estimated annual return potential for this monthly buy right trade is approximately 74 percent. Now one of the benefits of the monthly income strategy is that it does not require a large price movement in MetLife stock to generate a good return. The sale of the monthly call option also provides downside protection in the event MetLife stock declines in price. So to summarize, the monthly income strategy provides a high return potential with less risk than stock ownership and is an excellent strategy for today's volatile markets. Chuck, it seems like your income strategy utilizing insurance stocks 
provides a great income potential with low risk. I hope our viewers were able to gain some insights into income investing. I want to thank everyone for viewing and I am looking forward to our next presentation.